witness before you the history that lives today. For each of these members of the respective tribes, their clans, their families, their societies, they pay homage to us being who they are today. Because who they are today is something they've carried with them for generation upon generation upon generation. The understanding of the four-legged animal, the understanding of themselves as a people, and understanding that together we are as one. We're not separate. For in our beliefs as respective tribes throughout this country and Canada and elsewhere in this world, we come to an understanding that as one goes, so does the other. As one lives and breathes, so does the other. As one is affected, so is the other affected. And this is part of our teachings, part of our science, if you will. And we see this. So ladies and gentlemen, the beauty and the pageantry of these people, these horses, our people, the women, the men, the young people, the elders. And if you look at the regalia that they have on their horses and they have upon themselves, there's a story there. So there are many stories before you. In each and every one of these riders, through their respective family histories and tribal histories, they can tell you the beauty and the strength, the power of what they carry. And what they carry within themselves upon the four-legged, and what they carry upon themselves within their heart and their spirit.